Armed forces of Ukraine trapped hundreds of Russians in Kharkiv. Now they are surrendering en masse. Ukrainian troops have trapped up to 400 Russians in a chemical plant in the center of Volchansk. And according to the Ukrainian Center for Defense Strategies, 30 Russians have already surrendered after repeated attempts to rescue them failed. According to Forbes, over several weeks of fierce fighting, units of several Ukrainian brigades blocked the Russian offensive north of the Volchia River. At the same time, Russian forces equivalent to at least two battalions with hundreds of infantrymen stormed the Volchansk chemical plant PJSC on the right bank of the river. Apparently, the Russian plan was to seize the chemical plant and then from there launch an operation to cross the river to break into southern Volchansk. The plan failed when Ukrainian troops, possibly from the 9th Rifle Brigade, the Russian Volunteer Corps or the 36th Marine Brigade, attacked west of the chemical plant and advanced several blocks north, cutting off the Russians at the plant from their comrades or on west, writes Forbes. Ukrainian fighters noted that the Russians were surrounded with no chance of evacuation or reinforcements and reported a bunch of dead and wounded orcs. Russian commanders this weekend ordered their troops west of the chemical plant to break through Ukrainian positions. However, two attempts to break through to the encircled Russian troops were repulsed by Ukrainian Defense Forces, the Center for Defense Strategies reports. Obviously, it was then that the surrounded Russians began to surrender en masse. Although Russian and Ukrainian troops regularly capture each other, they rarely do so in dozens. The largest number of prisoners, as a rule, happens during the siege of large cities and chaotic hasty retreats, Forbes noted. Thus, hundreds of Ukrainian soldiers surrendered after holding out for several weeks in the encircled Mariupol. In mid-February 2024, the Russians captured dozens of Ukrainians as they retreated from the ruins of Avdiivka in eastern Ukraine. The fact that so many Russians surrendered at the same time in Volchansk, a city that neither side fully controls and which remains the subject of disputes, should have scared the Russian command. The Russian army should not have been bogged down in Volchansk, and it certainly should not have lost dozens of soldiers in an unsuccessful attempt to seize a bridgehead for a further attempt to cross the narrow river in the middle of the city, the article says. Whatever the Russians' goals were when they crossed the border into northern Ukraine last month, they not only failed to achieve them, their prospects for success are increasingly remote. The newspaper emphasizes. Yeah.